Welcome back everybody, Greg Lochner for Auto Body Training Solutions. One of the things I've talked about in my previous videos is how some of these new videos I'm doing, they're more like a classroom type setting. There's a lot of videos on YouTube and they show you how they're repairing cars and removing dents and using Bondo, but it leaves a lot uh, unanswered questions and there's stuff that I want to talk about and show and a lot of it comes by either drawing on a board or just some quick demos. So this is going to be another one. This is a demo that I'm going to uh, talk about direct damage and indirect damage and some of the problems associated with re removing both types. Now what I see a lot is guys will work some of the damage out and I think some of the guys got in their mind that well if you got to put filler on it anyway I'm not going to get too picky with it because I got to put Bondo on it anyway so I'm not going to get all the dent out but I'm going to show you a little demo here that kind of explains what I'm talking about it's trying, trying to remove all the damage you can and if you don't it just leads to more problems so with this can here I'm going to do a little demo and this is kind of an over, oversimplification and a little bit of an over exaggeration but you'll get the idea say this is the side panel on a vehicle car truck it doesn't matter you get a dent in here and it's not just a dent from the outside in which you can see put the straight edge on here but what that also does that's the direct damage the indirect damage is these two high spots here now when we put this straight edge on there, you can see how much that can is bulged out on both sides of it. So it's the same thing. If this is the side panel on a car and you've got a dent in here, and this is what I've been talking about in some of my videos, guys will kind of rough this out, but they don't concentrate on these areas. And pretty soon, you know, they put their filler on there, and then they're coming back and they're trying to hammer these down later. And the problem is, say if you just remove part of that dent and you say, okay, that's close enough because I'm going to be putting Bondo on it anyway. You come back here and once you're sanding, you got these high spots. So you're going to take your hammer and you're going to hit on those. Well, the problem is those have nowhere to go. They're not going to go in because you didn't relieve this whole dent right here. You left it in. So if you just try beat on those later, you just moved it. Now it moved it down here. So you'll get in there, you'll pop it out again. Well, that's not, not too bad. You still got a high spot here. And you can see how just that little bit really affects the panel. So once again, you'll take your hammer. Now you just move the high spot farther out away from where your initial damage was. You're going to take and you're going to beat that in. You're going to hammer on that. You just moved it again. You're constantly chasing it. So unless you take and spend a little extra time and get these dents out as much as you possibly can, and at the same time, check those high spots before you even start, before you put Bondo on there. Get those worked down, and you're going to do a lot less sanding with your filler is going to be a smaller area like I just shown you try and hammer those spots down and you just extend the damage you're, you're just pushing it because it it has to go somewhere and it's not going to go back where it come from unless you work that out so I hope this helps explain it and in the future I got some videos coming up show some hands-on and we try and explain it a little bit more in detail thanks for watching